Sandy. Well, when we have those hot temperatures, a lot of people like to go out on the water. And boaters, however, on portions of the Wolf River are going to need to travel a bit more slowly. Yeah, be sure to make no wake. A Winnebago County judge today rejecting a boating group's challenge to a no wake rule in the area. The slowdown for safety stays, but not everyone sees the danger. Fox 11's Lindsay Veramus has multiple views. On this busy stretch of the Wolf River, there's a lot more churning than the water. You know, we understand the judge's decision, but we still feel that the slow no wake is not necessary. We still feel that it's not a safety issue. Sherry Miller is a member of the Tri County Power Boat Alliance. The group challenged a town of Wolf River no wake order in court and lost. We would like to see the river be fair use for all users and not for the benefit of the landowners to enjoy the tranquility in their backyard. Members feel the slowdown on this half mile stretch of the river caters to a minority. Judge Barbara Hart Key disagreed, citing congestion and possible hazards. It starts right there. Joe Hall's property sits where the no wake zone begins. They don't care. There's a lot of people out here that just don't care. Hall says boat wakes have damaged piers, eroded the shoreline, and caused injury. There's uh, property owners here that are paying top dollar for taxes and not getting any protection on their properties. But the Powerboat Alliance says area businesses are seeing less traffic because of the rule. Some people thought it was shut down, some people were wanting to this center, so a lot of them just didn't come up. The Alliance says it has fought for no wake zones in other parts of the river where members believe there is a safety risk, but they don't see one here. That's the widest, straightest, safest part of the river. Yeah, I've had several people injured in the boat launch trying to get their boats on the trailer. The signs may be posted, but the debate rolls on. In Wolf River, Lindsay Vermes, Fox 11 News. And the boating group says it has not decided yet if it will challenge the ruling.